Hey there, welcome back to my channel where we cover all things gel nails. Today we're going to be doing this floating hearts design that I got off of Instagram, so if you want to see how I did it, keep on watching. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Bio Seaweed Gel Stronger Base Coat, Base Gel, and I'm applying that to buffed coffin shaped tips. So these are pre-buffed and I'm just slapping that base coat on and we're going to cure them for 60 seconds. I had this request, this image sent to me by a client who wanted some press on nails, so I am recreating them. I'm gonna go in with Luxa gel color in blackout. Luxa is known for their one coat polishes. They have a really nice um, reputation for pigment in their gel polishes. So when you're using something dark like black, navy blue, purple, anything like that, you want to make sure you work in thin coats. I did two thin coats here, even though obviously, as you can see, one coat does give really good pigmentation. Um, but you want to work in thin coats so that you have your you have the opportunity for your gel to cure properly. Um, if you don't, then you may end up with lumps in your gel or uncured areas, and that is not good. So I'm just applying the gel to the couple of nails where they need to be black, uh, according to the inspiration picture, which I will insert on the screen somewhere here. So I'm just going in with my second coat and we'll cure that off and then move on to our next step, which is the heart shaped glitter. I like when my customers send me um, inspiration pictures. I don't always recreate them exactly unless that's something that they are requesting and it's something that that person does not offer. So. I got the actual glitter from Honey's Nail Secrets. This is their, this is her purple heart and cross glitter. You get a ton in the package and they're really cute. I didn't use the crosses obviously in this design, but um, to recreate this one, I wanted to have her actual product that she offered. So I'm gonna take again that Bio Seaweed base gel and I'm gonna use that to adhere these heart glitters. So I'm just swiping it on in the areas where I want the glitters to go. And then you'll see me sort of pick out which ones I want. Um, I'll take my Crystal Katana and pick out which individual glitters I want and I'll kind of layer them so that when I encapsulate them with the clear gel, it floats sort of in between those layers and that's what creates that sort of floating heart appearance. So you'll see me sort of slap them on um, in various sizes sort of haphazardly and then I'll start to kind of push them in the direction that I want them to go based on what I'm trying to achieve for the design. These are really cool. I like the hollow effect that they give and it's just a nice shade of like a pinky purple. These would be perfect. I know she did some Valentine's Day um, versions as well that were really, really cute. So. I'm just going to continue on the next couple of nails and we'll cure that off so that those um, heart glitters are adhered nice and securely to the nail tip. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Bio Seaweed Top Gel. This is a no wipe top coat and I'm applying it to the pinky. So I have buffed this pinky nail because I'm gonna apply purple chrome. So a couple of tips when you're using chrome, you wanna make sure that your surface is really, really smooth because any imperfections on the nail will show through 10 times more when you put chrome on it. So I buffed it, I wiped it down with an um, alcohol on a lit free pad and then I went in with my top coat just to make sure that everything was nice and smooth. I'm going to apply this chrome with my finger. You can use an eyeshadow applicator, a silicone tool, whatever suits your fancy. My finger works just fine. So I'm just going to burnish that chrome into the surface of the nail. And then I'm going to come in with a fluffy brush. It's the Fluff Daddy from Light Elegance's brush collection with Selena Ryden just to get rid of that excess. You wanna use something that's really soft um, so that you don't scratch your chrome. It's really fragile, so you wanna make sure that you're not scratching it. 
and then I'm gonna go right back in with that top coat. So I wanna seal it up nice and good, make sure you get the sides covered, cap the ends so that your chrome doesn't chip. Um, but I'll seal it right away because I don't want to ruin it if I wipe a, a nearby nail with alcohol or I buff it or file it. Um, I want that chrome to be protected. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-top coat that and cure it so it's good to go. Once that's done, it's time to encapsulate these glitters. So I'm using Young Nails Synergy Flex Gel. I like flex because it's nice and runny. So for me, when I'm encapsulating glitter, shell pieces, things like that, I prefer to have something that runs a little bit. And you'll see some of my technique here, but if you're interested in an encapsulation video, I'm more than happy to make a video dedicated to the encapsulation process. So I basically, in a short version, lay down a slip layer and then I grab a bigger bead of gel and I float it back and forth. I flip the nail upside down to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and it's got a good apex and then I go ahead and I cure it. So that's the simple way but there are definitely some more tips and tricks that I'm willing to share in a dedicated encapsulation video. So if you're interested in that be sure to give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below or both. I'm always open to comments. I love it. Um, I love interacting with you guys in my videos. So I will make a more detailed video on how I encapsulate and then um, how I finish file too, right? So especially when you're working on a tip, if you're doing press-ons or nails for yourself or anything like that, it's really helpful to know how to file an encapsulated nail because the finished filing is more work, obviously, than just a typical um, nail art design. Flex gel cures for 60 seconds in an LED lamp. I have the Young Nails LED lamp, so it cures for 60 seconds and it does cure with a sticky layer. So you're gonna want to wipe that down before you go into file after it comes out of the light. So I did most of my filing off camera. You're just gonna see me just buffing here just to make sure that it's got a nice surface for top coat. So as we saw in the inspiration design, um, these were matte top coated with the exception of the chrome nail. So I'm going to go in with a matte top coat. I am using the um, velvet top coat from Files by Less. I'm just going to give these a quick wipe off and then go in with that matte top coat. And then I added um, some crystals. So there were Swarovski crystals on the original design. That's what my customer wanted. So I went ahead and added the Swarovski crystals as well. Um, so you guys will see, obviously I'm taking the Files by Less matte top coat here. I'm just going to put it on in a thin layer matte top coat. You want to use a thin layer because especially if it's like a rubber matte top coat and it's a little bit thicker, you're going to get sort of that um, bouncy, rubbery, right, for lack of a better word, finish. And I like when my matte top coats have a thinner appearance and they don't look um, like they're creating uh, too much bulk on the nail. So I'm going in with a nice thin coat of matte top coat here and we're just gonna finish these off here shortly. So you will see the design is coming together. It's starting to you know look a little bit finished. I'll add crystals, but this is pretty much it. So thanks you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for my next video, which should be somewhere on the screen. Check that out and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>